This week, KSBW and our partners at Union Bank are proud to introduce you to this year's Jefferson Award honorees, outstanding local volunteers who are making such a big difference in their communities. Tonight, Dan Green introduces us to honorees Mas Hashimoto and Ray Nahar. In 1942, Mas Hashimoto was six years old, one of seven boys in a family that called Watsonville home. They were active in the community. They loved the Pajaro Valley. But their worlds, though, were turned upside down after December 7th. Here is the actual bombing of the mighty USS Arizona by Jap planes. Months later, by executive order, the Hashimoto's and 120,000 other Japanese Americans, more than 60% of them U.S. citizens, were moved to internment camps. I was a prisoner of war during World War II, held by my own country. First, his family was interred here at the camp in Salinas at the Rodeo Grounds, where many lived in converted horse stalls. From there, they were shipped to Post in Arizona in sweltering heat much of the year. Their crime? their family heritage. In our case in 1942, yeah, ancestry was the main cause of our incarceration. What we have to do is teach that this could happen again to anybody. And that is a lesson that Mas Hashimoto believes is timeless, a lesson that needs to be taught to all Americans. And he voluntarily shares that lesson with schools, groups, most any who will listen. He says it's his calling. Teaching and sharing with community groups, college students, high schoolers, even third graders. They know what's right and what's wrong, what's fair and unfair. And that's the way I presented to uh, the third graders. Ma says that he had four jobs in his life. Student, farm worker for 13 years in the strawberry fields. He started there at age 10 to earn enough for college. Then he was a soldier in the U.S. Army and ultimately a teacher. Education is tremendously important. For 34 years, he taught history at Watsonville High. He helps students craft the yearbook and today he even creates one for the Japanese community as well here through the Japanese American Citizens League in Watsonville. He's still teaching, as he has for so long, sharing stories and the lessons that come with them. Basically, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights did not exist for us. And uh, I think what's tremendously important, and people have to realize that this injustice was legal. He does it as his passion, with no compensation. The rewards are compassion and understanding and victories over racism. I want them to open their eyes to, uh, and minds to racism in any form and wherever it could come from. For Mas Hashimoto, freedom must never be taken for granted. And through his life and experience and that of others like him, it must be protected as well. It is a wish he'll never let go of. I wish people were colorblind. And what I want them to remember is there's only one race, the human race. We're all in it together. That's it. I don't got no sticker right now, but next time, okay? Next time. Next time, okay? In Greenfield, for as long as most anybody can remember, they have counted on Ray Nahar. Here he's getting kids and parents safely to and from school. But crossing guard is just one of the countless jobs Ray does to help his community. He's been a volunteer with Greenfield PD for 38 years. And the community has looked to him for help, all kinds of help, ever since. He, he's a man of all traits. Uh, you know, uh, when he says volunteer, he, he, um, he does anything from animal control to uh, assisting in events, uh, 
you know, going out to the schools and, and, and assisting the, uh, the school districts with whatever uh, the school resource officer or any other officer needs from him. Uh, whether it be going to pick up a vehicle or we need some translation or we need some information or anything and everything, we go to Ray. We always ask Ray, where's Ray? Uh, we know we could count on him for, uh, 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 for support. Uh, support for the anim uh, animal control, uh, traffic control, big incidents. He is one of the unsung heroes uh, that does his job, uh, his volunteer duties without a lot of fanfare. And he's just here. He's part of the Greenfield Police family, uh, as well as the Greenfield community. 3 North Mountain, 06. Center, 16 Queen 1. His radio will crackle or his phone will ring at all hours. And Ray wouldn't have it any other way. Anytime I answer my radio, anytime I answer my phone when they need me. Greenfield Police Department, Raymond, may I help you? Yeah. When they need him to answer phones at the station, he's there. He's there for jail watch, for translation, gassing up the cars, the Explorers program. In Greenfield, for all of it, you go to Ray. He's kind of like a go-to guy. If we can't find something or we need something, it's like, ask Ray, see if Ray can do it. Center of 16 Queen 1, show me 10-8 for traffic control, show me out at the city kennel. And he always does. Every officer in Greenfield remembers meeting Ray on their first day on the job. And every officer has counted on him one time or another, or many. Once, he even helped save the life of a man overdosing on drugs. The kind of selfless commitment to a community you just don't see too often. Dependability can be hard to come by. But you can find it with Ray, because he loves it. It's in my heart. I, I love doing it. I love police work. His 38 years to the, of service to the Greenfield community and to our police department really, really epitomizes what we mean by community police partnerships. This, this dog got picked up yesterday from Oak Avenue, and it was at large. Now it's being picked up for me to return it to the owner. And in Greenfield, they're lucky to have him at the PD. And as this little guy will tell you, as the animal control officer, too. Ray's found his family, and he's taken that dog home. It's just another job Ray is happy to do in Greenfield, because everybody knows Ray Nahar is their go-to guy.